viewers, a bit of a departure for us today. Uh, what we're going to look at is a campaign day that I hosted at Imaginary Wars in Calgary this past weekend. The idea was to invite a bunch of friends that we liked, who all enjoyed Warhammer, 20 of us here, and to stage it as a linked game campaign day. So we'll spend some time and have a look. Here's some video. So here we are at Imaginary Wars. This is round one of a Warhammer Doubles event that is being put on for Jordan's birthday as well as mine. A little celebration where we've invited 20 guys to come play together and we're playing campaign linked scenarios. First one being uh, good guys versus evil guys where they partner together and throw down. The dice are rolling in turn one and uh, we're about two turns in. And things are looking desperate for some folks. Things are looking glorious for others already. More on this later. So after game one, I think you can tell by the look on Colin and Matthew's faces here how it went for them and for Team Good overall. Loading up for round two, it's the evil guys who look a little bit more relaxed. They're going to move into doing a breakthrough scenario. So we'll get back to the video and show you that. What's that you say? Can't really trade him out with Smurf Frog, yeah? Matthew Reeson knows no other thing. There's lots of aggressive measuring going on here on this table, conjecturing. I'm loving the dual measurement. The dynamic of the team tournament to the doubles round is lots of discussion happens. More so than action, maybe. Mike's just brooding. Good job, Mike. Over here on this battlefield, in round two, so we have high elves hanging out with Bretonians. Lots and lots of horses on this side. I did one with the chariot. Versus Malorian and Corey Burns' beastmen. Malorian, what's your feelings about Trebuchet? I hate them. I just don't like them. They're mean. Uh, you're going to win. Just like that, hey? Just like that. No elaboration? Right. They make my horse right. cry, so I can't like them. Savage Orcs try. Now I should make mention, something unique we did was we rejuggled partners between every scenario. So you'd play with somebody different, work out your strategy with them, and try to get the best out of each of your armies against your opposition. So the third scenario involved chasing down the essence and the gash. This game over here looks like a big swirly mess already. I like how it's laying out. Here's Team Evil conspiring together in muted whispers. Yeah. You might grow a beard by the end of this. So you I know, I know. It's all the whispering. It's just... Now in this battle, it seems that uh, they've chosen to just go one direction and totally abandon this flank. So they're going to try to push through the bulk of the uh, Elf and Empire Alliance over this way. Mr. Birthday Guy, feeling okay? Feeling good! Keep it up. So at the end of the day, after 20 great guys played three games of Warhammer, the general feeling looked like this. Um, it was the Orders of Destruction that, that won the day, uh, beating down the good guys a little bit more than they got it. And everybody was pretty pleased with it, and admittedly so was I. But none more than this guy right here. Happy birthday, Jordan.